Good morning, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. This is Rich again, back for your first video blog of the day for Thursday, October 15th, 2015, around 6.51 in the morning, Bellwick, Massachusetts. Going to be a nice and sunny day, close to 60 degrees. It's going to be a little below average, but, you know, get out and enjoy it because it's going to start getting colder again hard freeze in the Boston area Sunday night into Monday morning the growing season's probably done and also this will trigger more leaves to start falling it's falling down little by little but when you get a hard freeze and stuff then that starts to um, for them to fall down more some news to report Boston Bruins finally won a game they beat the Colorado Avalanche by the score of six to two first game of the year for the Bruins winning hopefully they could score six goals again against the Coyotes Boston Celtics beat the Brooklyn Nets by a score of 109 105 in preseason basketball and the Kansas City Royals beat the Houston Astros by the score of uh, seven to two to win the American League Division Series, three games to two. It's going to be the Toronto Blue Jays versus the Kansas City Royals for the American League Championship Series. That's going to be on Fox and FS1 with Joe Bach and Hal Reynolds and Tom Fiducci, Evan Andrews and Ken Rosenthal. It starts soon. And sad news to report in the NFL, former Patriots player Sam Adams passed away at the age of 67, so prayers to his family. That's about it on the news. My first video subject of the day is the continuation of top 10 list of everything and anything. I'm now reached the top 10 greatest World Series of all time, the Fall Classic. The Fall Classic has several great World Series over the years, and here are the best of the best. Number 10 on this list the of the top 10 greatest World Series of all time. The 2004 World Series between the St. Louis Cardinals and the Boston Red Sox. This is memorable because the Boston Red Sox swept the Cardinals to break the 86-year curse. And the Boston Red Sox led every moment of this World Series. Number 9 on this list of the greatest World Series of all time. The 2001 World Series between the Arizona Diamondbacks and the New York Yankees. This was a very classic World Series, all seven games, the home team won. The Diamondbacks had the home field advantage, so they won the World Series. This was their first World Series championship in four years, and there were four years of existence. They, some memorable moments was like game three when President George W. Bush flew out the first pitch, and he wore like a bulletproof like vest underneath his, I mean, jacket and stuff. This was a few weeks after the, the infamous 9-11 attacks and that was an amazing thing also game seven pitching performance by randy johnson out of the bullpen kurt Schilling and randy johnson were called mvps of this world series number eight on this list of the top 10 greatest world series of all time was the 1987 world series between the minnesota twins and the St. Louis Cardinals. This World Series was every home team, every game was won by the home team, and the Twins won the World Series with the advantage having um, the, the um, four games at home instead of three. And also, this was the first World Series to play inside because of the dome of the Metrodome, and this was a competitive, competitive World Series. Number seven on this list of the top 10 greatest World Series of all time. 2014 World Series between the Kansas City Royals and San Francisco Giants. It was another competitive back and forth, back and forth World Series won by the Giants in seven games. And, and this was the third world championship in the 2010s. And Madison Bumgarner had one of the greatest pitching performances of any pitcher in World Series history. Number six on this list of the greatest World Series of all time was the 1977 World Series between the Los Angeles Dodgers and the New York Yankees. The Bronx was burning. Famous. This was famous for Reggie Jackson hitting three home runs in Game 6 of the 1977 World Series. And he won the 
1977 World Series MVP. Also, this World Series was also not uh, famous for this was the first World Series that NBC Television Network did not broadcast. It was ABC, and Keith Jackson was calling the World Series. Whoa, Nelly! Number five on this list of the greatest World Series of all time. The 1986 World Series between the Boston Red Sox and the New York Mets. The Red Sox were one pitch away, one strike away from winning the World Series. But it was blown. And this was also famous for a, a Milk, Mookie Wilson hitting a, a, a liner down first and going behind Bill Buckner's legs, and uh, the New York Yankees went on to win, and the New York Mets w went on to win the World S Series and stuff, uh, four games to three, and the uh, curse of the Bambino continued it, for 68 years. It was uh, unbelievable. Red Sox should have won that World Series, and if they did, Bruce Hurst would have won the MVP. Number four on this list uh, of the greatest World Series of all time was the 1968 World Series between the Detroit Tigers and St. Louis Cardinals. This was 1968 was the year of the pitcher in the um, in the, in Major League Baseball. Lots of great pitching performances in this World Series. Bob Gibson, Mickey Lodge, Denny McClain, the Detroit Tigers won this World Series four games to three. And it was called by Harry Carey and Henry Harwell and um, Kirk Gowdy on NBC. Number three on this list of the greatest World Series of all time. The 2011 World Series between the Texas Rangers and the St. Louis Cardinals. This was a competitive World Series back and forth, back and forth. Went to full seven games. St. Louis Cardinals won it. And game six was famous for, like, the um, Texas Rangers one pitch away from winning the World Series championship. But they... Like blew it in a home run by David Freeze in Game Six, was the catapulting the Cardinals to get the momentum to win Game Seven. Number two on this list of the greatest World Series of all time: the 1991 World Series between the Minnesota Twins and the Atlanta Braves. This was famous for both the Minnesota Twins and and Atlanta Braves the year before finished in the basement in, of their respective divisions. And the next year, they became worst to first, and this was kind of the worst to first World Series and stuff, because I think this was the first time ever that two, both World Series participants f what finished like worst in the division the year before, and all seven games were won by the home team, Minnesota, Minnesota Twins, had the advantage and stuff, so many great Memories of this World Series, Kirby Peckett hitting a home run in Game 6. Jack Buck saying, we'll see you tomorrow night. And Game 7 pitching performance between John Smoltz and Jack Morris. 10 innings was pretty astounding with Game 7. Gene Larkin hit the game-winning hit in Game 7. And Jack Buck says, the Twins are going to win the World Series. But the number one. Greatest World Series of all time was the 1975 World Series between Cincinnati Reds and the Boston Red Sox on NBC. Called by Joe Gazziola, Tony Kubek, Kirk Gowdy, Dick Stockton, and Marty Brenneman. It was a very competitive World Series. Great pitching performance for Luis Tion, Game 1. This was also when he was reunited with his father from Cuba, who have not did not see him since... Um, um, Luis Tiant defected from Cuba in 1961. Also, there was a controversial play. Game 3. Game 6 was the famous Bernie Cabo home run. The catch by Dwight Evans. And a home run by Carlton Fisk in the 12th inning and stuff. Which this could have put the momentum on the Red Sox to win the World Series. But the curse of the Bad Beano struck in Game 7. And the Cincinnati Red Reds won this. The World Series. That's about it on that. Be back later. Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter with two more video blogs. First video blog will be What If Scenario. What if, like, Al Michaels went to CBS Sports in 1990 because that was rumored to happen around April of 1990 when, like, um, Brent Musburger got fired from CBS 
and stuff. And the third and final video blog of the night will be about former Major League Baseball player Brett Butler. Like I always say, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter, keep calm. And I'm Julie Brunner Guy, Julie Brunner New six rocks and has nice legs. Molly Roseblunt, so, so cute. Elizabeth Hart, so, so stunning. Amy Swensey, so, so stunning. Heidi Pratt has the best legs in the world. She's so sweet. And in the words of Dr. Thomas Shockey, former principal of BMHS, this action will not be tolerated at BMHS. See you later, Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter. Bye.